Daniel from the Assessment Toolbox here. How do you make a Google Form? Well, first off, we have to open a new one like this. Easiest spot for me is to go to my drive, click on New, and then Google Forms. If yours doesn't pop up automatically, click on More. You can also Google search Google Forms and find it that way. When you've got your new form, open it up, and you can start typing away. Let's say I am going to do a test on the presidents right here. And so I just type in the title there. If I want a description, I type in there. You just click on which spot and type away. So here's the question. I'm going to put in who was the first president, and then I would put in my other options like George Washington here. And there it is. You just keep, if you want more options, click Add Option right there and adjust it. You can remove them right there. It's currently set to multiple choice, but there are a lot of types of questions. So for my second question here, which president had the largest positive impact? I don't think I want students to respond with a multiple choice. I want them to give a paragraph response. So I'd click right there, go to paragraph, and that way they've got to uh, respond in a longer way. If you, uh, I want you to sh see this part right here, make sure it's clicked to required so that students have to do that question as long as you want them to have to do it. I always have that set right there. And then if you set up um, a format that you like, just click duplicate and that way you just can um, change the little parts that need editing instead of starting over. The settings tab up here is how you make it a quiz instead of just a survey. Make this a quiz means it assigns point values, allows auto grading, woohoo, and has an answer key attached. I've got a full video on this that you can find uh, for more details on that. But that is settings and then quizzes make this a quiz. Save it there. And so please watch the next video, how to make your Google form look good um, in two minutes. And you're going to see some little things you can do to make this stand out and shine and be exciting for your students. And this is part of a playlist. So stay along two minutes at a time to keep learning how to make your Google forms awesome and usable. And if this was helpful, give it a thumbs up so other teachers can find it.